Uh, I'm Jason Peterson. I'm one of the uh, vehicle engineers over here at Local Motors. We're uh, here at SEMA now with uh, a couple of our ideas in this booth anyway. Three booths here at SEMA this year. Uh, our 3D printed car, our typical shop booth, and uh, a bunch of our ideas from our rally fighters down to our drift trikes to some of the new cruiser bicycles, electric and gas, onto uh, community team projects, the office chariot, uh, the, the solid, solid axle swap Dakota, uh, and also including uh, this uh, Mark IV Jetta pickup truck conversion. We've been talking with Mark Smith, kind of fit along our, our lines of work, things that we wanted to do. It seemed kind of interesting to us, it was something we wanted to look at, so we wanted to actually try and do this conversion and see if it was something that, was, that fell in line with us and how we build and how we work uh, and actually doing these truck conversions. So uh, we worked with Mark Smith of uh, Smith Performance. He sent us a kit. We picked ourselves up a Jetta, did a couple of things to that Jetta uh, and turned it into the truck you see here. Uh, added a full bed liner. You know, it's got the sliding back window, fiberglass bed sides, but it's a full steel truck. The, the bed floors are reinforced extruded aluminum. The bed sides are all steel. It's a Ford Ranger tailgate. Most of you have seen Ford Rangers out there. Uh, one of the things that we also did on this for our own purposes is we'll be using as our own shop truck is we added an air suspension to it. So we have the ability to actually uh, let heavier loads which you would see in a typical Jetta. Beyond that, rather than using a TDI, we're going to be using this as a, uh, a teaching tool for some of our community members. So the gasoline cars uh, lend themselves a little bit better to that. So we picked ourselves a 1.8T. We can do some performance upgrades, intakes, exhaust, get some tuning, do some turbo upgrades, uh, with a few other things planned out in line. So we can teach them some of the prototyping methods that we'll be using when we get into our track car, which we actually have back here as well. So this was just kind of the start, something we want to see if we can do. Uh, we're going to start doing some evaluation of the kit, how it went together, and what it would take for us to do those in our micro factories here coming up uh, once we get done the scene.